If you're anything like me, I love developing and releasing Roblox games. There's nothing quite like seeing players enjoy your amazing creation, something you've put your sweat and tears into. But after all that hard work, you now hope for one thing, for your game to be successful and most importantly, profitable. In this video, we'll go over the best ways to increase revenue inside your Roblox game. There are various ways you can earn Robux from developing a Roblox game, but specifically today we'll focus on the main three methods, game passes, developer products and premium payouts. Each of these methods play a major role in your game's total revenue if used effectively. Game passes. Game passes are one-time purchases that give players special perks or abilities in your game. These can range from exclusive in-game items such as a sword or exclusive vehicle to special perks or access to exclusive areas such as a VIP only area. So right off the bat, game passes are a must in every Roblox game. The reason I say this is game passes are one of the best ways to generate Robux for your Roblox game. This is because usually when players are playing a Roblox game which they are enjoying, they are more open and willing to spend Robux to improve and gain exclusive perks which the game has to offer. What I mean by this is, you as a player are more likely to spend Robux on a game which you enjoy compared to a game which you don't. And by including game passes into your game, it doesn't necessarily guarantee the player will buy it, but it gives them the option to. If they enjoy the game and want to progress faster or gain access to a special perk, they are able to by spending Robux. Hello, I like money. Resulting in you gaining revenue. Now, some may say, well, Floppy, my game can't have game passes, but that is total nonsense. Any game, no matter the genre or style, can have game passes. It could be anything which you create into a game pass. It could be a boom box which you are able to insert via the toolbox, or even a simple times two walk speed game pass. It can be absolutely anything. Without game passes in your game, you will see little to no increase in profits. I just subtracted from today's profit. And there's no money in here. <laughs> To assure your game passes are reaching all your players and grabbing their attention, it's extremely important to make sure that your game pass logos stand out by using bright, vibrant colors. For example, in one of my most recent games, these were the icons I started with, and then I had them professionally designed, which obviously cost me a bit, but was totally worth it. As you can see, the new icons are bright, vibrant, and grabs the player's attention. So to sum it up, I would highly recommend implementing as many game passes as possible inside your Roblox game. Developer products. I highly recommend adding developer products into your Roblox game. Developer products are products that can be purchased multiple times, over and over again. You can make developer products work however you like. A developer product can be used in a variety of ways, ranging from giving a player a 15 minute speed boost to kicking people out of a server. It's totally up to you what the event is. I would say developer products are one of the best ways to increase revenue in your Roblox game. From my own personal experience, developer products have been the best money makers for me, simply due to it allowing players to purchase things multiple times, instead of a one-time purchase like Game Pass. Yes, the Game Passes give you good quick profit, but over time, developer products tend to actually be more profitable in the long run. So, in my opinion, I would highly recommend somehow implementing ways you can use developer products to assure you're making the most profits possible. The key thing to when creating a Game Pass and a developer product is to think outside of the box. Come up with new ideas on how you can create something interesting, which the player may consider purchasing. Now we finally move on to premium payouts. Premium payouts are actually a very very under-recognized feature. Premium payouts are a new and unique way, well, not necessarily too new, they've been here for about four years now, just over four years, but they're an excellent way to earn additional revenue in your game. How they work is, developers earn Robux based on the playtime of a premium player in the game. The longer the premium player is in the game, the more Robux the developer will earn. You'll often see in a lot of games that they offer premium benefits. This is because developers want to assure that the premium player feels special and continues to play the game for a longer period of time. Premium payouts is pretty much free Robux for the developers. All you need to do is make sure your Roblox premium player stays in your game for as long as possible. You can easily do this by implementing systems which give special perks to premium players, such as a speed boost or exclusive items in a game. It's totally up to you. 
To sum up these three methods of increasing your game's revenue, before you focus too much on the money-making side of your game, it's important to make sure that your game is actually enjoyable. Question to yourself, if I were a general player and I chose to play this game, would I actually find it fun and would I want to return? It's key to question yourself these, because if your answer to any other questions were no, you have improvements to do on your game. You need to assure that your game is fun and enjoyable and players would actually like to return. Making your game fun and enjoyable is something you need to focus on before you even begin thinking of working on the game's monetization. Only after you've answered yes to those questions do you then move on to the monetization side of your game. But that is it from me. If you have any tips or advice that you would like to share with others, please do so in the comments of this video. I hope this video has helped guide you in the right direction with increasing your revenue in your Roblox game. Simply because profits and game revenue is a very important part when it comes to developing a successful game. I wish you all the best of luck.